Hi Taurus, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for September 2014. This month I decided to go back to the Celtic Cross Tarot spread for you. And the first card that shows up in your reading today, Taurus, is Queen of Pentacles. This very well could be you, because the Queen of Pentacles is an Earth sign female, either being a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or that could be uh, the person's rising sign. I hear there's a lot going on inside you, mentally um, and internally, like you're having a struggle. I feel like you're feeling very unsure of yourself or uncertain at this time. I feel that for some of you, you feel like you've been under the pressure or under the gun. Possibly uh, this could be pressure you put on yourself, but it could also be from some outside sources. And I'm getting that for some of you, you don't really, you feel like you don't really know what to do. Like you want to throw your hands up and, you know, let it all go. I hear if you have any problems or issues brewing that you want to confront them, don't push them aside and let them, uh, you know, get worse. You need, you need to confront them head on. I feel that you've had some people annoying you, like talking to you, trying to get you to change your mind about something or some course of action that you're taking or something you decided to do. I do feel that you believe and know that they want what's best for you. So they're doing it out of good wishes and good intent for you. But I get that it's annoying you and you feeling a, a little bit like you're being pushed and pulled in some different directions here. I feel that for some of you, you're going to give up the ghost, as they say, and walk away from an unhealthy situation. I feel that you've been giving too much credence or license to someone else in your life that's having too much say-so over what it is you are or aren't doing. I feel like you're going to regain uh, and uh, regain your power, get back your power. I feel that for some of you, you've lost your will about certain things and you're kind of like muddled up or floundering, like you're unsure. There's too much uncertainty all over the place here. I feel that normally uh, your feet are very firmly grounded usually, but I'm feeling like you're kind of like you know, scattered and, and a little bit all over the place, not your usual uh, way of operating and thinking and being. And you're talking to other people and getting too many opinions. All it's doing is serving to confuse you. I'm hearing this is your time now to like pick a point, take that dart and throw it, give it your best focus and like give it your best shot. Like, it's there's it, it seems like you need to take some action step now like pick a lane or pick a dartboard and focus just make that step i feel like once you take that step then your world is going to change and things are going to start to fall into place for you i feel that some of you have really had a hard time deciding about uh, like a whole variety of things like where do I want to live uh, what job do I want to have do I want to make that move do I want to get a new job um, just so many different things I, what friends do I have uh, who do I spend time with um, who are the gossip mongers and the controllers and who are the people that can really be a friend to me or help me I feel that now this isn't with all Tauruses because it is a general reading, but I feel that the Tauruses that the guides are talking about have kind of lost their way or feel like they're not sure-footed and steady right now at all. The next card you have that crosses over the center card, which would either support or conflict the first card, you have temperance 
which to me symbolizes patience. It also can symbolize divine source working through you in your thoughts, inspirations, intuitions, and creations. I feel that for many of you, you need guidance and you need spiritual guidance. You need to tune in and turn to your spiritual roots. You could really benefit from healing right now. If any of you subscribe to the belief and follow energy work such as Reiki or other forms of energetic healing, you would greatly benefit from this at this time. I feel like you're so unsure about how things are going to come about that for some of you Tauruses, I feel like you really feel like you've lost your way. You've been derailed from your path. And I feel that for many of you, the main focus here is making money and how you're going to make money or, you know, earning more money. I feel that for some of you, you're going to enter some kind of a competition where something you've created or have worked on is going to go out into the world and be judged against others because it seems like a contest or placing you in the running for something. This also could be job related. I do feel that for some of you uh, are going to move up the ranks in your job and get some promotions, maybe even not just one step up, but you might be taking up two steps up from your uh, position. I feel that you, some of you are going to be seeking counseling and advice. Now this is on a couple different issues. For some of you Tauruses, it could all be the same. You could, one Taurus could seek advice from many different sources. So, but I'm getting spiritual counseling and advice. I'm also getting financial planning and advice. Where somebody, it looks like in the financial world, is going to take you through the steps of what you need to do to help you to get better control and a better reign, uh, better reigns on what's happening for you and for your future. You're going to be entering conversations about money. And I hear that you're going to be putting some bargaining chips on the table because you have a lot to offer. And for some of you, you're going to enter some sort of studies at a local or community college. This could be to advance your career. It could be uh, to gain supplemental knowledge that will help you advance in your job or career. And for some of you, this could be for personal enrichment and growth and development. Just depends on which Taurus you are. I do hear you have a lot of happiness in the offing, um, especially in the month of May, which is interesting because for many of you, that is your birth month. I get that you're going to be uh, very happy and having a lot of celebratory gatherings and reasons to celebrate at that time. I just see you uh, at an abundance of joy flowing around you, especially at that time. It's not saying you don't have any happiness between now and then. It's just highlighted. The next card you have in your reading, uh, which is crowning your reading, which shows up as a goal, uh, is the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles, Taurus, to me, symbolizes balance, seeking balance. It's also having to make a decision about money. It's a lot of emotional uh, feelings. A lot of emotions are tied to this issue. And also in, a, in the month of May, you are going to be feeling like you are in a very strong position financially. You've been through the mill and the ringer. And now, at that time, you're going to be very financially strong. 
and contemplating a lot of life changes at that point. For those of you that are gainfully employed, I get that you are going to be taking on a lot more responsibilities at your job. Like you're going to be overseeing a division or a section of the place where you work. And I feel for those of you Tauruses that are self-employed, you're going to be studying and applying possibly for a grant. And for those of you unemployed Tauruses, I see you traveling through a time of indecision and worry about money. But even for you, uh, I still get April, May time frame is the time where things turn around for you as well. I hear from many of you Tauruses, you can really give as good as you get. So be very careful about what you say to others. There are things that you could say right now that could come back to bite you. Try not to lash out at others out of anger or fear. I do hear that you seem to be like where you've had it and like you're fed up with some people. Like you want to take them down a notch or knock them off some kind of pedestal. Be careful because I feel that these people have helped you or served you in the past. And if you do that, they would become very guarded with you and resentful. I'm not saying your relationships with them would end, but it would be very detrimental for you in the future. So they're saying like, hold your tongue. They're holding your tongue. Guard your tongue. Hold your tongue. The next card you have in your reading today, Taurus, is in the position of the past. Shows up is death. Now, the death card to me doesn't symbolize a physical death. To me, this is a card of transformation. Something ending so something new can begin in your life. I feel that for some of you, you're just not ready to let go of the past emotionally and mentally. I feel that for some of you, you've surrendered uh, but out of fear, but you really haven't wanted to let go. You're coming to a point, if you haven't already done it, but I feel that many of you have or you're doing it now, where you're closing the door on chapters in your life. This has been hard for you. For many of you Tauruses, I feel that you have felt like you've been in the position of having to stand alone. You don't like it and you don't want to be in that spot. This is not quite how you wanted your life to be. There's a real true sense of loss and regret right with that card. You've tried, I hear you've tried to hide this from other people, but the people around you, no. They think you're putting on a brave front for everybody else, but inside you're struggling. I'm sorry to hear that for you, Taurus, but it did come up in a past position. So I do feel that many of you have actually closed the doors or are in the process of shutting those doors right now. Now, I have to say, Taurus, I don't like this card for you. I'm very sorry. It's in the position of what's going on in your life and energy energy you're traveling through. So you're passing through it. You have the tower. And the tower to me is an argument, an explosion. Um, a, it can be a, like a big fight or something that happens. But on a positive note, it's like this, this explosion needed to happen because it clears the air. It, it's going to... Uh, change the energy like you know when lightning strikes something after a thunder and lightning storm then the air is like tingly but it's like fresh and clean after that that's what this card the the positive side of this card will transform energy um but it is it can be explosive <laughs> i do hear that tauruses have ended some things with a bang i do feel that uh you there's been a lot of grief running around in your head and that you've had it. I do feel that you've cut off some people or cut out some people from your life. And this has been a hurt 
uh, and quite a sting because I believe that you thought that they would be there for you forever. They've been unreliable and unresponsible. And it seems like they only come at you when they need something from you or have a gripe or a bone to pick with you, either one. That's when they show up. I do hear you're going to give it another shot to talk to them in the future, but not right now. I feel nine months to a year from now that that relationship will be repaired and healed. I feel that you will be dealing with them and talking to them. Uh, it does show up in the month of December around Christmas time or around the holiday season. But you feel like they owe you an apology. I feel that I'm not sure you're going to get that, however. But you'll see things in a different light about them or the circumstance as time rolls on. I feel like between the months of December and March is when you start to, you know, like turn the corner in your thoughts about them. I feel that you're happy um, to close the door on them at this time because I feel that you really needed a break or a pause from that. Um, so the next card you have in your reading today, Taurus, is in the position of future. This is near future, not far away future. You have the Ace of Rods, which is an excellent card. This is a card that symbolizes new beginnings. It's also a card that symbolizes new business or enterprise. Sometimes it can come up also with an inheritance. I do hear that you are going to be, you know, putting your foot down and saying, give me what I deserve. You owe me this now. You're going to be trying really hard to bargain and get what is rightfully, what you feel is rightfully yours. This could be from the person with whom you've had this uh, tarot uh, tower explosion with. And I do hear that you are going to begin to find yourself on firmer ground and more sure footing. October gives you a better sense of who you are and where you are at in your life. I feel like through the fall, September, October, November, you are kind of on like an emotional swing or seesaw. I see that. I feel that this pendulum of emotions is going to swing for you for a little while. And I do feel, again, to emphasize that time frame from December through March, I feel like you feel more solid, firm, and grounded. I do feel in the month of October, for many of you, is where you're going to see improvements with your job change. Remember I got earlier that I feel you're going to get a promotion or take a couple steps up? I feel that for some of you it will occur in the month of October. The next card you have today, Taurus, in your reading is the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords, it shows up in a future, further out future position. The Five of Swords is coming up here. Um, the Five of Swords to me, it's like uh, unforeseen foes. Uh, it's standing your ground firmly, but you have to be careful of who's gossiping and talking about you, what they're saying, and that there, you know, others might be plotting against you or trying to take something from you. It's just like, it's a card of warning. Fives are often, uh, when a five card shows up of any suit, it's usually some kind of um, conflict or struggle. You need to be prepared because I feel like there might be someone, one or two people that want to throw you off balance. This could be at your job. I hear you've relinquished your fears, but they're saying, you know, like they're showing me the Cheshire cat. Beware of their false smiles. There are some people there that want to rattle your cage and uh, set you off balance. They feel envious of your rise in the job that you're in. 
they think you believe them as being true to you or true friends or, you know, positive, friendly coworkers, but you need to stay on your guard because they are people that have two faces. So you need to watch out for what they say to you, to your face is opposite of what they do to you behind your back. You may be feeling the sting of this in October or November, and I feel like for some of you, that's when the promotion or you get a leg up in your job is October. So I feel like it's going to happen pretty quick. Like once this happens for you, watch out around you, uh, these coworkers with the false smiles. Like I kind of feel like they feel like they, you should be put to the test. They want to test your mettle, so to speak see what you've got like push your buttons you'll be able to show them though i don't feel it's going to be any trouble for you there i just feel that you need to ignore it and them and just go about what you're doing don't give it any mind um the next card you have that shows up in your reading today taurus is the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups to me symbolizes choose wisely from your illusions. It can also symbolize being scattered and distracted or, you know, muddled thinking and feelings, which did come up earlier in the reading. I hear for some of you that you've given away ideas to other people and that they've taken them and ran with them. You generally have a better grasp of things like that, and you are going to become more guarded of that in the future. I hear that things have been put in front of you to test you. I'm sorry to say that. I hate that word. But I do feel like you're being put through some testing times. Um, but I feel this is karmically related. I hear that you uh, maybe have created some hubbub in your own life and that now it's time to take the bull by the horns and really uh, settle down and get focused. And I hear that you're not happy with the way some things have panned out in your life because you've scattered your energy into too many different directions. For those of you that drink coffee, I feel that uh, it's begun to upset your stomach. So if any of you Tauruses out there are noticing that you're having upset stomach issues and you're not really sure why, I feel that for some of you, it's actually related to caffeine or coffee in particular. I feel like you need to stay away from that because it's too... It's too acidy or there's too... It's too acidy in your system. It's creating an imbalance. I do feel for some of you, Taurus, as you've entered a time where great wealth is actually upon you. You're entering a cycle where your finances are going to improve, and this is a cycle that will last five years. For some of you, a person that's a Gemini is linked to this. I'm also hearing that for some of you Tauruses, you're going to be getting a leg up in your social standing. You are going to feel like you're going to put yourself out there and market yourself in the world. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of you Tauruses run for some kind of election in your town or maybe even bigger than that. I feel that for some of you, you're going to branch out with another individual on a money-making plan or idea. So I see you uh, being in partnership with someone. And I feel that you are going to go out into the world and be um, like shaking people's hands and introducing yourself to people and promoting yourself and this project or uh, you know whatever it is that you're doing with this partnership. Also, um, you could be partnership in running for something that could be, uh, you know, you're running me in whatever type of election you're in. 
I hear promotions, uh, meetings, like meeting for coffee. So again, when you, for those of you that have upset stomachs, when you have those coffee meetings, I suggest you drink something other than coffee. Uh, but they did mention like, you know, coffee clutches, meetings, um, giving speeches, taking time to stand up for a cause. This is to, this will benefit you in the long run because you're entering a time where you can really make it work. I feel like for many of you, when you really jumpstart your life is on your birth month, May. You've been given a great impetus for change and now it's going to be the time for you to take it. You've got to step away from the scattered energies and the cluttered up thinking. You will be far more clear when April and May roll around. I do feel like things are going to improve before that, but that is the time they're going to. And that is your birthday months, April, May. So there's something significant about that. Um, the next card you have in your reading is in the position of a hope and a fear, hope or fears. Um, you have the moon. And the moon to me symbolizes deception in, and lies being lied to in romance. Secrecy, lies, deception in romance. It also can mean intuition, spiritual intuition, psychic intuition. I do feel like now you're starting to see the light of day and you're in the process of transforming your life. I feel a lot of hardships have befallen you. I feel you've been disappointed by many people, not just one. You've been hurt over and over again because I felt, I feel like you felt like they needed you more than what they're showing you that they did. I feel that you have a great deal of empathy for others at this time and that you're going to put that to good use. For those of you single Tauruses out there, please be very careful if you're engaging with multiple partners sexually because this is coming up that you don't want to catch any kind of transmitted diseases or sicknesses at this time. So if you're somebody that's sexually active and maybe, you know, sowing some wild oats with some more, more than one partner, please, please, please take precautions and be guarded at this time. You will feel better if you do and have much better peace of mind. This is a warning. It's not saying you're going to catch something. It's warning you that you, so you don't. And in your outcome card today, Taurus, you have Knight of Rods. And Knight of Rods to me symbolizes a fire sign male. He would usually be between the ages of 18 and 40. He is somebody that's very good communicating. Uh, he does often does very well in business. Um, he can really put things together and set things in motion. A lot of people like him. He has a lot of dynamics. He's a guy that's on the go. Sometimes when this card shows up, it shows up as he tends to, he can run out of relationships. Sometimes, not always. He would either be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius male, or that could be his rising sign. I feel... I feel that there's a lot of trepidation with this guy, that he's very unsure of himself and what's going on or what to do with his life at this time. I feel that he circles around you needing help, money, and assistance. He likes to talk to you and see what you think. I feel like he likes to bounce ideas off of you. For some of you, not all, 
he is a sexual or romantic partner. I feel that he's been back and forth in your life, uh, a, you know, more than once. Like he comes in out of your, in your life and goes out, and then he comes back in your life. Like he travels around you in the perimeter. He comes in and he talks to you, and then he goes out of your life and he travels around, and then he comes in and and out. He it's like he also likes to keep tabs on you, like to see where you're at, what are you doing, what's happening in your life, what's your opinions about what's happening in his life, how are you feeling about him, he's doing some temperature taking here. If he's a guy that you've been romantically linked with, he thinks you're romantically linked to somebody else right now, whether you are or not, that's what he thinks. He thinks you're going to give him the old heave-ho or the brush off, or maybe you have, that comes up. If he's not a romantic partner for you, he either comes up as a brother, son, or friend. Either, No matter who he is, there's been a lot of back and forth with this guy coming and going. If he's a friend to you, he seeks your advice and help. You've lent him money or he's borrowed money from you at some point. Not a a great deal, but he's come to you for help in, in a variety of ways. Pretty much the same scenario if he's your brother or a friend or son. I don't feel like he's stable in his life right now, no matter who he is to you. I feel like he's not grounded. I feel that no matter who he is, you feel that he really needs guidance and that you're going to try to set him right on the right path. You feel like you owe him that. There's a sense of responsibility to him. I feel that for some of you, you've given up things for this guy in the past. Whether it's time, money, effort. You, I feel that you look at him like he's somebody that's not fully stable and that you want to help him. So, hopefully... Yeah, this is the general reading. I hope it makes sense to you, Taurus, as, as who this is, because he was in your outcome position. I want to say thank you, Taurus, so much for watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing to my videos. I also want to say thank you to you, Tauruses out there with whom I've had private readings with. It's been a pleasure to meet and connect with you. If you're a Taurus out there and you would like to have a private reading with me, please go to the link I have posted below for my website and go to my order page. And on that page, there's instructions of how you can schedule your appointment on the online scheduling calendar and make your payment via PayPal on that same order page. I hope that you have a great rest of your month of September, Taurus, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.